All right, here we go, Howard. This this is where we insert jingle, pending jingle writing. Ooh. Um, we'll we'll see how much free time I have to do. Yeah, I, I've had a couple of ideas. You know, Van Halen's "Take Your Whiskey Home." I think <laughs> that'd be fun. All right, so everybody, welcome to the official episode one. Not not the other one before. That was episode zero. Hope you hope you got that. Uh, this is episode one of Max and Howard drink beer. So. Without further ado, I'm Max. And I'm Howard. And, and Max, I just want to, you know, take a little bit of time out. Uh, to everybody that listened to episode zero, I mean, we got a hell of a turnout already. I think the last time I looked, we're already at 176 uh, likes on our Facebook page. And, you know, the, the uh, hits just keep coming in. I just keep hearing positive things from everybody that I talk to that's uh, listened to it. Um you know, a funny story on my end. I don't know if you heard it, but uh, Sam and Forrest were in the kitchen listening to it one day. <laughs> and, uh, you know, Sam just all of a sudden says, oh, my God, gentlemen, pick up the pace. You know, it's like, I guess we were a little too slow on episode so, zero. So, that, so this this is for Sam and Forrest. Yeah, Sam for- and Forrest. That's uh, Max's old lady, if you guys don't know. We'll tell the audience that at home. That's the uh, that's Mrs. Galici and... Uh, Forest is a uh, forest, so <laughs> it's Sam's younger. So youngest we're gonna try to pick up the pace a little bit today, and we're gonna, well, as usual, we're gonna have some fun. All right, Howard. So, as per, I think we start a tradition. What are you drinking today? Yeah, you know, I I switched it up a little bit. We're trying to get rid of this. You know, it's uh, just as per usual, it's a uh, discount liquor. You know, whatever I can get on sale is what I like to drink, and it's uh. Founders Mosaic Promise, and it's a single hop ale. Do you remember when we at Boxhorn we did the uh, the lake the lakefront uh, single hop series? Yeah, was this, was this part of it? Yeah, this is different because it's Founders, and I'm not a Founders guy. Those you know fudge eaters over in Michigan, <laughs> you know, not a big wow. fan of that stuff typically. But shots fired. The single the single hop anything single hop is good because it's got a little bit of bite to it but it's a real nice tasting refreshing beer so max what are you drinking i i went with my personal favorite uh, i i'm drinking a heineken today okay and you can't you beat can't, the classics you, you can't beat it like i said it's my favorite beer i had a couple of them sitting in the beer fridge down here and figured ah, eh, why not it's a good day for it you know that's kind of heineken's gonna fit in a little bit with my uh origin story my uh my 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 uh, drinking habits because right. I actually picked that up from you. You know the audience might be shocked to find this out. Neither neither Max or I were uh, big drinkers before we started working at Boxhorn. Boxhorn's the gun club. We both started out. Max was there significantly longer than I was. But when he hired me on and when he quit, I kind of started to learn the ropes of everything and how everything worked. And I'd you know go up with the old old fart that used to work there and we'd have a couple of cocktails and uh you know that that's our background of it we ran a bar for the better part of a decade beer, beer thursday you know yeah that was a big thing so you know that's why we're able to make this podcast and have a voice in it but you know like like i said we weren't big drinkers and i'll tell you the first time the real first time i ever had beer in general origin story was uh, I just a wee lad, you know, a little small guy. I don't even think I was in kindergarten yet. And my dad says, hey, try this. You know, <laughs> had the can of old style here. We were probably watching the race. I was fucking around doing whatever. And, hey, try try this. I took a sip of that, and it tastes just like you'd think an old style was, but you still got that six-year-old brain. Ah. Oh, this is gross. I'm never going to drink anything like this. This is terrible. <laughs> you know, so that was my first uh, uh, foray with, uh, you know, drinking beer. You know, just a wee lad. And sure enough, I didn't drink a whole lot until I was well in my uh, teens. Well, that, uh, that from what I know of you, I, I don't believe you. No. But uh, also when I met you, I know what you were drinking. So uh, Exactly. What did you don't have a story like that? I think we talked about that a little bit. You uh, mine, mine was a little later in life. Okay, um, it was it was probably 
I don't want to say it was my senior year of high school, but it's probably around somewhere in there. I know we had already moved to Union Grove. Oh, wow. So we were there, and uh, it was one of those days uh, there where I was patiently waiting my dad to come home because he was going to teach me something. Don't remember what it was, but he was going to teach me something. And those of you who don't know my dad, my dad is a master of pretty much anything he puts his mind to. So it was constantly like, hey, I'll show you how to do this. So I sat there, and you know, as every every boy's story goes waiting on their dad, you know, I sat there and I waited and I waited and I waited and I waited. And it got into the late hours of the night, and I still remember sitting outside, and I was throwing a basketball against this busted basketball hoop we had, you know, and... Every time I missed, the ball would roll down the hill, and I'd have to go get it, and I was getting progressively more and more pissed off. <laughs> so, at some point, my dad shows up, and I'm I'm almost positive he was out, you know, with his friends drinking, trying to blow off some steam, which, now as an adult, I fully understand the feeling, yep. you, you know, know the, the need, the desire to do so, but, uh, you know, I was just, I was, I was so pissed off that, you know... Really? This is what you had to do? That I leaned into him, and I cussed my dad out for the first time in my life. I just yelled at him. He sat there. He stared at me. And and when it was all said and done, he looks at me and goes, Well, you're done? <laughs> and I go, Yeah, I am done. And then he says to me, Well, it's about fucking time. And I obviously have that look of, What do you mean it's about fucking time? You know, and my dad sat me down. He grabbed a couple beers from the fridge. I can't tell you what it was. I don't remember the beer. That's that's it. But he said that, you know, that is your job as an adult. Is you hold other people accountable to what they're going to say. And if you don't do that, what kind of a man are you? Yeah, there's a lot of truth to that. And so, from that moment that he said that to me, you know, that kind of changed my whole perspective on life and uh i i truly think that was the turning point in our relationship because he kind of it it was not so much of a here we are father and son it's more of a a mutual respect you know and as you know i i try to hang out with my dad once or twice a week right we we get beers together or whatever and hang out and you know shoot the shit and complain about life you know, but that was solve all the world's problems. That was the true turning point there in our relationship as, as father and son. You know, so I mean, like I said, you know, when you're you're talking, it was my first beer I had. You know, I don't remember what it was. Clearly, that was not the important part of it. Right. <laughs> you know, but it is something that I will always have as a memory. You know, in the later years when my dad's long and gone, and I'm an old man myself, I will remember that moment specifically with my dad you know i i like to hear the uh stories about max's dad not only because you know max's dad is a crazy individual you know (laughs) there's just so much that he does and i'll i'll get to that too you know that's that's a big part of my turning points is you know going to Summerfest for the first time and having your old man as a uh, tour guide you know that was wild that was one of the craziest times of my life but oh, yeah. it, it it's interesting to hear that that was your first time and i don't know if that's just because you can't remember but my dad was definitely a here try this kind of guy you know yeah. i did old style i did a brandy and i i chucked the whole thing of brandy that was like at least two or three fingers of brandy and yeah. that was not great straight <laughs> brandy that was that was not great you know the other one was here try this and that was uh ice hole uh, peppermint schnapps. Ooh. You know, that sounds bad to you, but on a cold day up north in the uh, Upper Peninsula, that was some good shit. That <laughs> tasted too good. Warmed my nubs right up. That I, was, that I was believe two you there. Up there. So, <laughs> you know, and that's that's what I like. I like remembering those, you know, moments, you know, those stupid little things like that because I, I don't get those moments that you had with your dad then you were 18 and you learned those lessons, you know, un- unfortunately. So I had to go back in my head and figure those all right. out and put all the puzzle pieces together. And that's kind of a different kind of challenge there, you know. So never had the old man to drink with. Well, 
occasionally, but you know, you don't appreciate it as a right. you know, young young dumb for calm kind of guy. <laughs> you know. Well, and you you know us, you can you can tell when uh when my dad's at at that point you'll start hearing the the Ric Flair woos. Woo You yeah. know, that's uh that's when you get a good one. Yeah. I know specifically yeah. at, at my wedding when Morgan heard that he stopped dead in his tracks and he hunted me down and went your dad just walked by and he just did his woo You know, so it's just uh Hey, that's when you're feeling good. I don't know if he's ever been drunk when I heard him say it. Well <laughs> he, he might be, I don't know. <laughs> carries it well but man that's when you just let loose get a, get a good old woo life's good let's let's go yeah i still think my favorite part was when we were drinking with him at uh b-dubs yeah and uh yeah we do have an hour there and then um our bartender at the time mike he walked past and he did a, he gave us a good woo and it was just like we started laughing, and he's like, "Yeah, I don't, I don't know when I started doing that, but I've, I've just been starting to do it when I feel it." And then, you know, my dad came in a little later, and he did it, and Mike just looks at us like, "That's where I got it from, huh?" Excellent. So it must be a Mike thing, right? Oh yeah, it's gotta be. <laughs> it's gotta be. Yeah, speaking of Mike's, I'll tell you, you know, and trying to find a good beer, you know, the right beer for you. Hey, you know, Mike's Hard Lemonade. That sounds pretty good. I was trying those for a little while. Holy gut rot. Yeah. My God, the worst stomach steaks I've ever had. Twisted Tea is right up there, too. I was, I was 20. I If Talladega would have been a week earlier, I would have been 21. <laughs> a week later, I'd have been 21. And we, we had these Twisted Teas, and I'm just trying to chug the Twisted Teas down, just choke them down, and... Man, that's not as good as regular tea, you know? It's not as good as regular <laughs> lemonade. But I'll tell you this, you know, you, you mentioned way back before you met me, I was a high life guy. That was mm-hmm. my first real beer, you know? And I'll tell you the story about the high life, man. It was a rough day working at Six Flags, Great America. You know, one of those long days where everybody's an idiot except for you, and it's just, it's on your mind. You just want to go home early, and you want to go to the county fair. And we, I went to the county fair. It was race night at the county fair. Nice. Buy two, three, four, five, six beers. And Max uh, Miller High Life, it went down like champagne. Oh. It was so good. And it just hit the spot just right. And Max, I swear to God... That was the only time I ever heard Bella Kane sound good. <laughs> wow, shots fired you there. Know, and it, they were awesome that night. They yeah. were just out of this world. And I don't know if they just have a bigger, they had a bigger band and they had every single instrument you could possibly imagine on the Kenosha County Fair stage. Yeah. They sounded so good. They played every single hit song. They didn't leave. And we were just rocking, rocking through the night. And that was the best moment I ever that that was not the best moment. I just had a lot of better moments than that. <laughs> but that that was my first experience really drinking beer, you know. And I try to recreate. It's like doing coke, you know. <laughs> I, I try to I recreate don't. that. Exp- uh, you'll you'll learn, but <laughs> you try to recreate that experience, but you'll never get that same high right. ever again. At least you know not with high life. Not you know? So that was life. my first beer. First real beer. Well, I, 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 I specifically remember when you, you know we would go out and we started drinking together on uh, Beer Thursday, and we drank on Thursday because at Boxhorn we didn't have to work on Fridays. So because of that, we started celebrating our week at Thursday night. And it was a good staff meeting too. You know, you know so we'd sit all there the and we'd, would sit there. We'd, we would talk, and it, it got really outrageous at some points, you know, because then yeah. Forrest started coming and Sam yeah. started coming, and uh, Brittany was there for a while when she was bartending. Golly gee, we as every now and again, you, you'd find a wild Alex yeah. you'd show up, you know, and that was, that's when it got wild. You remember you remember that one night? It was the replay of the uh, box game. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I do. That was a good. No, that was a good there replay. Is absolutely no way the 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 the, the box aren't the, they're they're down by like ten or something. And of course, it's a box, you know. Even before Giannis, those guys were a scrappy young team doing whatever <laughs> they could get, you know. And they they finally, yeah, Alex. 
I, there's no way the Bucks. There's no way the Bucks are gonna.